take you to base. Yeah, go ahead, this base. North slope's clear. Yeah, that was quite a show. I'm gonna head over to the south slope. There's a lot of new snow up there. Now listen, AJ, uh, why don't you check with me before you start in the south, huh? Sure, Carl, whatever you say. I'll... Attention skiers. Welcome to the end at six mountains. We apologize for the delay. We're glad to report that all runs are now open and all lifts are fully operational. Enjoy your day. Emily. Honey, I think the lift you're looking for is over this way. This one over here. You all right with that? Need some help? Sure. Yes, thank you very much. So you done good, Mr. Architect. The hotel is truly stunning. Well, thank you, ma'am. I did have a little help, don't forget. So listen, this Finley wants to get together for a bit of a celebration. So after you're done bunny running or whatever you plan on doing, I want you and Paige to meet me over at the Eagle's Nest here, all right? That's assuming I'm still walking. Paige will take it easier. I hope so. Dad, I thought you said you and I were going to go in town and pick up your skis. Yeah, yeah, I know, but see, honey, this guy Finley paid Dad a lot of dough to build this place, and I gotta have a drink with him. Okay, we'll get the skis later. So, good luck, bunny woman. Mm -hmm. Take Thank it you. easy on her, okay? Okay. Well, you're the man. You can teach me to ski the bumps. <laughs> They're called Nogles. Attention, skiers. 32 inches of powder over the last three days gives you 200 miles of the best skiing we've seen all season. Have a great day on the slope. Come on. AJ to base? Yep, go ahead. I'm on the top of the south slope. It's pretty unstable. You said to check in before I start? Well, uh, AJ, there's been a change of plan. I need you to come back to the office. What do you mean the office for? What? Carl, what's going on? You can't open the lifts. It's not safe. Look. Come on down. You're done for the day. Carl, you can't do this. Carl! Well, there's plenty of cute guys to see me fall on my butt. <laughs> you know, look, Paige, if you don't want to do this, I'm fine calling it off. Look, will you just put your skis on? Yes, ma'am. Here, can you hold this for me? Ah. <laughs> Can't even open them. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Riley, it's, uh, it's Paige. Do you remember me? Paige? Paige Cooper? Well, what happened to you? You're all grown up. About your mom. Believe me, she is sorely missed on the circuit. She was a fine person. One of the best coaches we ever had. Thank you. Hey, hey, Alex, come here. Look who's here. You remember Paige, Diana's daughter? Hey, how's it going? Hi. Oh, and this is Monique White. She's doing a photo shoot on Alex for Ski Magazine. Uh, oh, Monique, this is Paige Cooper. I've known this kid since before she could walk. She could ski like an angel even then. And this is? It's Emily, my father's new wife. I saw the spread you did in the Olympics. It was fantastic. Thanks. Uh, hey, Reno, if you want to get a single shot up, we really got to get going. Yeah, yeah, baby, we're going. Paige, why don't you come with us? You and Alex can race. It'll give us some great shots for his press kit. I don't know, Dad, racing. I'd just as soon stand out here and look sexy. Where is your competitive spirit, young fellow? It's out to lunch, old fella. So, do you want to do this? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm up for it. All right, let's go. OK. Think he may have uh, picked the wrong career for your uh, son? Uh, he's 19, pain in the neck. But he's a brilliant skier. He'll go far. Yeah, far away from you as possible. Monique, that's not nice. 
Could I ask a favor? Would you take a picture of my wife and me? Sure, I'd love to. It's our 50th wedding anniversary today. We met right here at the old lodge. Of course, then it wasn't as fancy as this. Here, why don't you go stand over there? Okay. Let me see. Okay, are you ready? Why don't you give each other a little kiss? All right. Very good. Well, fellas, now that you're here, I've got to talk to you about this building. I am not the happy man. I'm ecstatic. You did a heck of a job. To Michael Cooper, a great designer. Uh, you were right and I was wrong about limiting the extra fin... Uh, uh, what would you call it? Fenestration. Ah. Just the windows. Uh, the Art Deco work in the elevator is brilliant. I, I love this fireplace. Good. To Danny Peterson, the man who gets it done. Uh, you're a great team. Oh, it's always great to work for a guy who knows what he wants and has the money to pay for it, Brad. <laughs> it's our pleasure. Uh, I don't know how you do it, Dan. I mean, I've never had a building go up with so few problems from downtown. I gotta hand it to you. You're, you're a miracle worker. I was actually wondering the same thing myself. Hey, you're the talent. I'm the grease. Like he said, we're a team. Cheers. your mind. Look, AJ, don't start. I'm just doing my job. Come on, you gotta let me do mine. The south slope is under 32 inches of fresh snow on a 10-foot ice pack. That's literally hundreds of tons of snow sitting on an ice skating rink at a 30-degree downward angle. You know what that means, right? Look, yeah, spare me the lecture, okay? Finley wants the slopes open. I open the slopes. Then somebody should tell Mr. Finley about a shelf of snow up there 10 times the size of the Titanic. And if I'm not allowed to take care of it right now, it's gonna come crashing down the mountain at 90 miles an hour. You wanna take responsibility for that? I mean, when's the last time that happened? It happens all the time. Just this last December in Lucerne, France, and a lot of people died. Well, this isn't France. It's too late anyway. You know, the slopes are open. We'll deal with it after we close tonight. I am not gonna wait until we End of discussion, AJ. Okay, it's Finley's call. You do what you're told. Fine. Fine. I'm going to fax a report over to the sheriff's office. If anything happens, it'll be on your head. Well, uh, the sheriff's not in his office. I saw him on the lift about a half hour ago. Yeah? Well, great. Maybe after he's killed, you can run for his office. They're gonna come down through the park, over that jump. There's your shot. Reno, I assume that you hired me because I know what I'm doing with a camera. Don't tell me how to do my job. Attention skiers. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, Emily, uh, it is Emily, right? Mm-hmm. So how long you uh, been married to Michael? Six months. Oh. How's Paige doing? Sorry? You know, with her skiing, I mean, she was a brilliant skier before her mom died. You think she'll ever compete again? You'd have to ask Paige that. Yeah. Such a tragedy, you know. Somewhat of a jerk, our friend Reno. Yeah. I'm getting a little tired of hearing of what a saint my predecessor was. So, Cecily, you have a very exciting life. Paige said you were at the Olympics. Do you travel much? All the time. Does it get a little old? I mean, living out of a hotel, airport, suitcase. Uh, how do you stand it? Spy Hunter. Spy what? Spy Hunter. It's a video game. It's everywhere. Uh, hotels, airports. That's how I stand it. They ready? Oh, they're ready. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Hey, 
Is she your dad's girlfriend? Uh, no. No, he likes those idiots. Yeah, well, at least he didn't marry one. You know, I, I really wish he would, actually. Because then he'd get off my case. Champions always ski hard. That's how they make winning a habit. You know what? That's why some champions can barely walk, Dad. Come on, you always tell me. Can I bring you folks more champagne? Oh, here, actually. Thank you very much. Coffee would be great. Oh, I see. Uh, coffee for everyone, Claire. And, and some of those uh, little cake things. Petty Force. Yes, sir. Is this your first? If I get much bigger, it'll be my last, believe me. Nice girl. Married to the guy who does our avalanche control. You have avalanches? No, no, no. They're more like controlled slides. Rogue avalanche in a resort like this, nine times out of ten, it's just sheer negligence. A.J. Becker is our insurance policy. And he is good. <laughs> Lord knows I pay him enough. Sherry, can you get water to table eight? Thank you. Hey. Hey. How are my girls doing? It's a boy. Mm -hmm. I know it's a boy. Hey, hun. Hey. They're up on South this afternoon. When do you get out of here? About three, unless I get slammed. Why? What's going on? I'm nothing. Uh... Can you leave now? Or soon, at least? Tell them you don't feel good or something. I don't know. I'd rather have you at home today. And I got old man Finley at my table. If I leave now, I'll get fired. Is something the matter? Don't lose this. I'm gonna meet you in the parking lot at two minutes after three, so don't, you know, take another shift. And no hanging out talking to the girls after work, okay? You promise? Yeah. What's the matter? I love you. I'm gonna head up the mountain again, and I'll be back before three. Claire, hot food, let's go. Yeah, I'll be right there. How do you like my hotel? Huh? Lovely. What do you think of this room, huh? The Eagle's Nest. Great image. Right out of your husband's imagination. Actually, this was Emily's idea. You know, she bid on this project, too. Is that right? Huh. I should have hired you. You're a lot better looking than these two bums. Well, my father is brilliant, Mr. Finley. You were lucky to get him. Dad, I'm gonna go back to the room, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What is all this? Bureaucracy run amok. <laughs> that, my dear girl, is the final inspection papers and certificate of occupancy. Hey. Worth their weight in gold, because you can't run a new hotel without them. Appreciate you dropping them by, Danny. But you've already been open a week. How did that? Coffee and dessert? Wow, those are great. Oh, perfect timing.
Paige. Paige. Look, we, we have to talk. Yeah, well, I'd rather not, thanks. Excuse me. Don't you think it's time that you accept the fact that your father and I are married? Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you don't like me. I... I know that you don't like me. But I am trying very hard to make this work. I would appreciate a little effort on okay, your part. I, 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 you know, it's always about you, isn't it? Look, you may have managed to hook my dad, but you're not gonna hook me. So why don't you just back off and stay out of my face? Don't do that, Paige. Don't, don't you see how miserable you're making your father? Don't you see what's happening? Can't you think of anybody but yourself? What I think is none of your business, and neither is anything that goes on between me and my dad, so why don't you just butt out? Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. So we're all gonna cruise over? Danny? So how, how'd we do? It could have been a little sticky when Paige went for those documents, but you handled it perfectly as usual. It's all there. 100K. 50 for your friends downtown. 50 for you. You saved me a lot of money, Danny. I'm grateful to you. So, what are you gonna do with all this? Oh, it'll get spent. <laughs> So I never asked you. You have a family? No, no, I don't. I like to travel light. <laughs> That's a shame. Man should have a family. Keeps him honest. <laughs> Enjoy that lunch with a bunch of windbags full of baloney. They pay the bills, remember that. As you get older, that becomes very important. Hey. Hi, honey. Uh, what was all that about, about the final inspection papers? Oh, I guess Danny had just forgotten them, that's all. What do you mean, that's all? That means Finley was in violation. Hey, Dad, are we gonna go in town and get your skis or not? All right, the skis, I almost forgot about that. Well, we'll all go, all right? Look at the skis and maybe find a nice place for dinner tonight. Great, you know, maybe we can stay as you like at the theater. They might have tickets available. Shakespeare, yeah. <laughs> it's boring. Oh, come on, you made a great peas blossom in fourth grade. I think a little culture might do you good, young lady. Okay, you know what, I don't want to go to the stupid play. I mean, I don't know, Emily. Maybe you should just do us all a favor and go by yourself. Paige. Paige. Hey. Forget it, Michael. So have you had another fight? Yes. She misses her mom. It's gonna take her a while. Well, apparently she's not the only one. Diana's gone and I've accepted that. It's gonna take a little longer for Paige. Hey, Mrs. Cooper, I love you. I know. I'm sorry, I will really try. But you have to talk to her. I am tired of playing the heavy, it's getting old. And she'll listen to you. She'll argue, but she'll listen to you. No one listens to me, do they? I'll talk to her. I don't want to talk to her right now. Let her cool down a bit, okay? Okay. So, go into town, get the skis, and we'll talk about dinner when I get back, okay? Don't forget to join us for lunchtime at the base of Superstar Club. 
What are you still doing here? Right. Give it a rest.
Paige. Paige, you okay? No, I guess. Was it, was it an earthquake? No, it was an avalanche. We gotta get out of here. Help! What about Dad? Well, the backup systems are working. He'll find us. Come on, we gotta no. go. No! Come on! Wait for Dad! No, we gotta get moving! You can't make me! I am staying here until my dad gets back! Paige, you're gonna freeze! Let's go! I don't, I don't care! I'll, I'll build a fire or something! <laughs> Sweetheart, sweetheart, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Come on. Okay. <coughs> there we go. Hey, Jada Carl. Hey, Jada Carl. Yeah, uh, go for Carl. I'm halfway down the mountain. We need help up here. Look, I'll do the best I can. We're overwhelmed down here. The lodge, what happened to the lodge? It's buried. Have you seen Claire? Uh, negative, I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for her. Copy, out. Just darned avalanche. Okay, where's Monique? 
Yeah, Dad, where's Monique? She's missing a real Kodak moment here. <laughs> Don't you ever stop. Actually, Paige, I'm just kidding. Last time we saw her, she was outside. Okay, uh, this hallway should take us to the outside of the building. There should be a fire escape. Yeah, but you can't count on getting out of there. Hey, you got a better idea? I, I think I do. I think that we should go this way. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Look, we're in the east side of the building. Our room is just above here. We couldn't get out into the hallway because it was blocked. I, I, I think that we should go west. And what makes you think the west side of the building is any better? Well, I don't know that it's safer. But I, I know the layout of the lodge. I mean, I help Michael with the plans. I wouldn't tell too many people that if I were you. Hey, it's not my dad's fault that there was an avalanche, okay? Look, the west side of the building contains most of the public areas. I mean, it, it's got the lobby, the restaurants. It's all 12 by 12 exposed beams. If anything's still standing, I, I know it's got to be there. I'm listening. I was thinking about the fireplace in the eagle's nest. It, it's got a chimney flue that extends 15 feet above the roof line. If we can't get out any other way, I, I think we can get up the chimney, and it, it should take us to the surface. I bet you still believe in the Easter Bunny, don't you? Without knowing what's... You know, you guys should do what you think is right. Because we're going to go to the eagle's nest. Come on, Paige. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. Paige, not now. Let's go. Go oh, wait a minute. We're not splitting up. And I'm not just going to stand here and watch two women wander around. Isn't that so sweet? Chivalry lives on. All right, I'm going with Mr. Riley. Do I get a vote? You didn't register to vote, remember? So no, you don't get to vote. You come with us. Come on. sure that we have the resources that we can bring to bear to get those people out, get them out safely, and get them the kind of treatment they need to have. My name's Michael Cooper. I designed and built this lodge. Oh, you designed and built this? I know the layout forwards and backwards. I just need to know if there's anything that, that I can do to help. Look, don't you think you've done enough already? I want you to know that I have the blueprints. I can find anything look, you need look, to know about Look, you want to help dig. All right, AJ, what's your 20? AJ, what's your 20? I'm headed up the mountain. Listen, uh, get back down here. Carl, I don't think this is over. Say again? I need to inspect the peak. Listen, forget about the peak. Get back down here. That's in order. I'm going up there, Carl. AJ, listen, don't do this, AJ. AJ. AJ.
Paige, I have a bad feeling about this. I'll get over it. Whose idea was this anyways, Dad? It's not that is SOS. What? It's SOS and Morse code. Can't you guys hear that? What are they saying? Three adults, 16 kids trapped. Six. That's that's the daycare center in the basement. There's no way to get to them. Look, we'll send the rescue team when we get out. Tell them help is on the way. Okay. Come on, tell them! Okay, okay. Shout at him. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go. Come no, on. no, no, Mr. Riley can barely even walk. He's not gonna have to walk, we're gonna crawl. Yeah, crawl. That's what I need. We have to go left, everybody. Stay close. Be careful. Feels like Alice in Wonderland, huh? Yeah, I guess. Hey, you were really good out there today. When we raced. Thanks. No, I mean it, Paige. You beat me. Why don't you compete anymore? I lost interest. Is it because of your mom? You know, you have real talent. She wouldn't want you to waste that. Yeah, well, you have real talent, too. Why are you wasting yours? I don't have the heart. Your mom said you gotta have the heart to go all the way. And she used to say that you have it. She said that? <laughs> like every 10 minutes. You know, my dad, he, he doesn't care about heart. All he cares about is getting his own way. Your dad got the gold, Alex. He was good, but we have like this personality conflict. Like he has no personality. Yeah, well, I wish he coached me. Yeah, I wish he would coach you too. I mean, get him off my back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take it right up to the pack. That pack will support your weight. Listen, Go, Charlie. You, you can't put that equipment up there. It won't support it. Hey, it's our only shot. Please, Charlie, listen, go. Mate, your only shot is to, to dig some sort of a tunnel to safely get to these people. We got no time. You got a lot more time than putting that cat up there and having it collapse the pack. Get out of my face. Stop. 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 Listen to me. We have to work together and dig a tunnel. While you're grandstanding, people are dying. Get out of the way. My wife and daughter are down below. Do you think I'd put them at any more risk? Carl, I gotta talk to you. Not now, AJ. Carl, listen! I think the summit cap is gonna go. Keep your voice down. This was only a partial separation and not the biggest part. The rest of the snow cap is just hanging up on the crest. When it warms up, it'll go. How long have we got? The summit's at 31 degrees. I think the trigger layer will let loose at about 45. We've got an hour and a half at the most. We have got to dig a tunnel now! What's a run-up? It's twice the mass and nothing to stop it. It'll cover the parking lot. Get him out of here. Charlie, This go. won't work. This will not work. Listen to me, please. I'm telling you, listen to me. You gotta listen to me, please. Listen to me. He's gonna get people killed. He's not thinking straight. My wife is in there. Well, so is mine. I just have to find out exactly where. I gave Claire a beacon this morning. Beacon? A locator beacon? You knew there was going to be a slide. You knew! I wasn't sure. You can never be sure, but... Finley wanted the slopes open. He wanted the lodge open, too. This beacon may come in handy. There's a better way to do this, though. I'm going to need your help. You got it. I don't have any machines. How's your leg? Here you go, Dad. Oh, that's not good. I think I'm gonna wait here for the rescuers. I mean, they must have made some progress. After all, we've lasted this long, right? I think that we should keep going, you guys. I'm not sure this air is good. <coughs> I'm tired. Me too, I'm cold. So what's your point, Emily? My point is, I'm not sure it's safe here. Oh, come on. You're the one who said the public areas were safe. Do you guys wonder why it's getting colder? We're getting weaker, it's getting more difficult to breathe? Because we're all exhausted. If you have something to say, Emily, just say it. Look, the generators, the power, the backup lights run on diesel fuel. If the vents are blocked by snow or debris, then there could be a buildup of carbon monoxide. If we stay here, we can run out of breathable air. If, could, maybe. It's all hypothetical. I mean, right now, we're safe. We're eating. And you're being dramatic. But what if she's right? I think we should go with her. Be careful of these pipes. Sweet cakes, Mr. Hold up. What? Jeez. You don't like me much, do you? If I didn't like you, I wouldn't help you. Oh, come on. We've known each other for nearly a year. You won't even have dinner with me. Because you're an emotional loser. Ever since your wife left you, you've been afraid to commit. And I suspect that that's why she left in the first place. Maybe you've been afraid all along. Well, maybe. You do like me, so there's still hope, right? A little, but it's fading fast. You know, you are a caveman. You treat women like meat. <laughs> Come on. I would like you a lot better if you just show a little respect. <clears throat> well, if we get out of this, son, mm. would you please? Do me the honor of going to dinner with me. Hmm. I'll think about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We have to start by building the tunnel. Yeah. It's got to be well supported. We need manpower, though. We'll, we'll get it from town. They'll be happy to come up.
Gotta get out of here. So what? We're just stuck in here? We're not stuck. We're gonna get out. Oh, we're not stuck. We're gonna get out. It's either Emily the eternal optimist or Emily the eternal pessimist. Which one is it? We're either all gonna live or we're all gonna die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Pick one, okay? Because you're really starting to annoy me. You no, know, I don't know what's going on here. You've been writing me and everybody else. Now, if you've got a better idea, fine. You go for it. If you don't, if you don't, you stop complaining and you start helping. You understand? Hey, lay off. Don't be talking to her like that. Thank you. She thinks she is anyway. Her husband's responsible for this whole disaster. Folks, everybody, please. Please stop what you're doing. I need your attention. Everyone, please gather around here if you would. I know we're in a desperate situation, but I have an idea that might take... You were right, okay? What do you want, an apology? We're starting a tunnel, Mr. Clark. No, you're not. I'm shutting this operation down. I talked to Colonel Medeiros. The National Guard will be here in a couple of hours. In two hours, they'll be welcome. Until then, we're starting a tunnel. Now, I need timber. For, for, for bracing. I also need cable for lighting, a generator. If you got any picks, shovels, axes, anything you can find for digging purposes, heavy equipment, a, a backhoe, all of the manpower we can find. No, we wait for the guard. The guard's gonna take two hours. My God, man, that won't do us any good. People are trapped down below and you're nursing your bruised ego. Would you help me? Now, I know that some of you have family and friends trapped down below. My wife and daughter are down there, so time is of the utmost importance. Most of you know what I want to do. I want to dig directly into the middle of that pack. If we work together, that means the faster we get people out. AJ. We're all gonna die, aren't we? You have to stop saying that, Paige. Look, we're gonna get out of here. Let me help you, okay? Well, you can't help me. Well, Paige, I know that you don't like me, and I'm sorry. But this can't be about me. It's gotta be about you. You have got to find the strength to hang in. Do you understand that? It's just so unfair. You know, I miss her so much. I know you. What would she say if she were here? Mom would say that... that you gotta have the heart to go all the way. And that's what we're gonna have. Hey, what do you think? That we can use. Good work, Alex. That's great. Thanks. Okay, here we go. What are you doing? Building a fire. You can't do that. What are you, Smokey the Bear? Are you crazy? There is no ventilation in here. This place will fill with smoke. Listen, I've just about had it with you, Mrs. Know-it-all. What does it matter where we go or what we do? This fine piece of architecture your old man came up with is gonna kill us all anyway. No, it won't. Here's where we started digging. We need to tunnel directly into the eagle's nest right here. This is the strongest part of the building. Anybody who survived was definitely in there when this thing hit. That's where my wife works. Well, that's good news for you. We need to keep that locator beacon signal alive, too, to make sure that we keep on course. OK, from. <sighs> from 
From here, we need to access the rest of the lodge from these different points, starting here, here, and here. It's our only shot. Well, we haven't got much time. That crest isn't going to hold up there forever. Let's move. Give you a hand. <clears throat> I wanted to, um, I wanted to say sorry about what I said earlier. You know, don't worry about it. We're all a little tense. I'm just not used to women who are, um, who are, uh, strong. I was gonna say impossible. So, uh, did your wife raise Alex? Alex's mom left us when he was five, and, uh, I raised him myself. Did a good job. He's a nice kid. Yeah, he's a flake. But he's a nice flake. Pretty soon he'll be leaving the house, and uh, I'll have my life back. I'll miss him. about Diana. Paige's mom? What do you want to know? I don't know. What was she like? <sighs> Outgoing, adventurous. Diana and Paige were never apart. If they weren't skiing, they were kayaking or rock climbing or mountain biking. You know, some people thought it was uh, unhealthy, you know, the way she pushed Paige. I understood it, you know. I mean, when you're good, you want your kid to be good. And I've been the same way with Alex. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that was wrong. At least it's a way to communicate. You know, uh, Emily, you're never gonna top Diana, not to Paige. I don't wanna top her. I just wanna get through to Paige. It looks like somebody already has. You know, this is ironic. That's, that's my word for the week, ironic. Having an intended meaning conveyed obliquely. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so what's ironic? Well, maybe it's the wrong word. It's, it's just that I've always wanted a new mom, but Dad won't hear it. You've got a new mom, but you don't want one. Yeah, well, she's not my real mom. Yeah, but she's still pretty awesome. That happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I can't see anything. I need a flashlight. stopping. What is it? It's bad. Be careful, you guys. Alex, give me the axe. It's right there. Come on. Let's get out of here. That's my folks, right here. 
right here. This is the area we're concentrating on. The key is working together. You guys, I found it. The elevators. Come over here. Hey, sorry about that. You okay? Hey, Danny. Hey. Hey, have you seen Dad? I thought he was with you. No, he went to town. Where were you? In the Eagle's Nest. You mean it's holding up? Perfect. A lot better than the rest of the lodge. I've never seen a building go down like this. It's like somebody stepped on it. Yeah, if you'd built it to code, maybe it would have performed better. What are you talking about? I mean, nothing could have survived that avalanche. My husband designed a building that you didn't build, Danny. I know his plans didn't call for you using toothpicks. So what are you saying? Who is this guy? This is the construction supervisor for this project. It was his job to make sure my husband's plans were followed. So? So they weren't. Of course they were. You're implying I didn't do my job. I'm not implying anything. I'm saying it flat out. Danny, you cut some major corners. I've been coordinating construction for Michael's designs for years. We have always followed code. You want to accuse me of negligence? I suggest you take that up with my lawyer. I plan to. Could we, uh, we save the lawyer stuff till later? How'd you get down here? The stairs, but they're history. Something crashed down from above, completely destroyed the stairwell. So how do we get to the eagle's nest? You don't. The elevator shaft. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Look at that, it's frozen. Looks like we climb. Yeah, yeah, you're very yeah. 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 Quite a climb for anybody. I'm staying with you. Oh, you're not. Tell me what to do. I just as soon find another way. There is no other way. This is all we could find. Yeah, you know, maybe if you let us you check know, those chests back there, we don't have then, time. Okay, that's what we have you know to what? do. Reno, Reno can, cannot climb the shaft. Yeah, all right, he cannot go. All right, I don't I stop it. Stop it. All of you. I. I know this isn't going to be easy, but we are all going up there as a team, working together. Does everyone understand that concept? <clears throat> Alex, would you uh, check those knots, make sure they're tight? Dad, I got my Boy Scout merit badge for knots. Where else do you think I'll learn Morse code? All right. I can do this. I don't want you to go first. I climbed Devil's Peak when I was 10 years old, Emily. I think that I can manage an elevator shaft. I'm always careful. That's why I'm good.
going to see you go up first. Make sure you go and tie this off tight. It's got to carry Rena's weight, you understand? Easy for you to say. I can do this. You can do it. Come on. You'll do it. You know what to do, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We uh, we tie one end of this rope around Dad's foot. We we're gonna throw him Alex, out over you know the pitch with his arms. Knock it off. It's not the time, okay? <laughs> Come on, All right. Guys. See you up there. Up you go. Careful. Okay, there you go. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, I'll be careful. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, Your foot goes right there. You all right? Yeah. Swing your leg up over there. Come on, come on. Okay. Look out. Thanks. All right. Wrap it around. Thanks, buddy. Take up slack. Everybody ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. Come on, Rena. Come on, Rena. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Get him. Come on. Good, Rena. You gotta get it. You gotta get Alex. The gas is getting strong. Coming up!
I'm setting the charges now. I figure if I plant them in a V pattern, they'll divert the run out to either side. How long we got until the next one hits? Maybe a half hour at the most. We need something to clean this. Uh, oh. oh, Alex, look at your leg. Honey, oh, tear off some of that sheet. Let's make a bandage. Can you move your ankle at all? You won't be skiing much. A survival kit you have there. Yeah. What's the matter? I hit a solid wall of ice. I can take care of that. I'm not buying it, Danny. Yeah, I don't buy it either. Looks like you ripped off a hotel safe. I'm telling you, some of our subs will only take cash. I was going into town to pay them off when the avalanche hit. Sure you were. <laughs> you can't believe I stole this. Oh, no. I think you earned it. I think it was a payoff. What? You're out of your mind. When you showed those certificates of occupancy this morning, I knew something wasn't right, Danny. I just couldn't figure it out, but you know what? Now it all makes sense. There is no way the inspectors would approve this kind of work unless you'd paid them off. <laughs> you can't prove that. Maybe I can't. My guess is that Finley took a few shortcuts and you helped him. You paid off the local officials and then you went and signed the approvals for Cooper Peterson. What's Michael gonna think about all this cash? Or weren't you planning on sharing it with him? Emily, Dad would never do something like that. I know he wouldn't. I just want to hear Danny say it. Don't you threaten me with Michael. I gave my life to him. We started this company with nothing, and we'd still have nothing if it wasn't for me. I've been with him since day one. I helped Paige when she was three hours old. I, I stood with, with them both when Diana died. I've always stood by them. What do I get for it? Zip. Nothing. Because you waltzed in. You took advantage of a man who lost a wife and was trying to raise a daughter by himself. And now half the company is yours, and Michael wants me out? Think I don't know whose idea that was? Well, you don't deserve the company. You deserve each other. No! Let's go. It stinks in here. I'm sorry, Danny. I didn't know that Michael had asked you to leave. But how could you do this? I needed the money. I didn't intend for people to die. from inside. We've run out of time. We've got to blow for that ice now. 
You all right, Emily? I'm gonna check that out. There's nothing to see. Come on. Let's get out of here. Come on, come on. Let's go. Emily? Emily. It's all right, we're gonna carry her. No, no, please. <laughs> we'll bring help, okay? There is one thing you could do. Seems I'm always asking you favors. <laughs> it's a letter to our daughter. We want to tell her how much joy she's brought to us. How, how much we love her. That's right. I'm afraid we haven't told her that. Often enough. I promise I'll bring this to her. Now you stay warm, okay? We'll be back. All right, get out of my way. Let me see. Move it. Gentlemen, this dig is over. Put down your picks and shovels and get out. This site's been declared an official disaster area. Maybe you could grab a shovel and start digging. We could use the help. Don't make me have these two cops here arrest you. I know you're just doing your job, but I've been here before. I lost my wife in an emergency situation. Two cops held me back while she drowned in a river. The paramedics were on their way, but they got there too late. Those last few minutes made all the difference. No, I'm not going to be there again. My family's down there. And nobody's going to tell me that I'm not going to try to dig them out. All right, you guys, come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Hurry up! I can do this. No, Alex, you can't. It's too dangerous. No, it's okay. Let him do it. Just turn the valves in. I gotta go down the aisle against the wall. There are three valves. I just want you to turn off the middle valve. You understand? Them. Alex, take these. Ah! Here, I'll need. to move in a while. Maybe he's just taking a nap. I'm gonna need to move this to get to her. Okay, let me get the side of it. Here. Careful, Reno. Oh my God, wait. Ready? Oh, okay. Oh. No, 
like. Where do you want us? You guys gotta find the fireplace and start climbing. Stop talking. Listen, son, you can't help me. What you can do is get yourself out of here. Reno, you gotta hang in there. We are so close. Just get going. I'll take him with you. Come on. Okay, Paige. You gotta go. You guys, too. I'm staying with my dad. No, you're not. You're going with the others. Oh, he kicked. He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Paige, help me find that fireplace, okay? You do what Emily says, okay? I'm very proud of you, Alex. You hear me? Now get out of here, son. Hey. When we get out of here, I'm taking you to dinner. I'll take you. collapsed on itself. It was going up there. This is it. This is it. I thought if we got here, we'd get out. After all, I put you through. I thought it was right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Emily, no, no, Emily, Emily, please don't say that. Look, Emily, if it weren't for you, I mean, we'd all be dead. Look, we've been through so much. Emily, you just, you can't give up now, okay? We need you. I mean, you, you were with us the whole time, no matter what, even, even when we were arguing and even when we were so mean to you. I mean, look, we're here. We're all still alive right now. And that is what is important, Emily. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. We will get out of here. We'll find another way. There's gotta be another way, just please. Emily.
help. Where? Come on, come yes, on. yes, this way, this way. it away from the hotel. I've started him, but I've never tried to stop one before. What if it doesn't work? Just do it. You up at eight, and you wear something nice. <laughs> Just be there, okay? Hey, champ. I love you. I love you too, son. What happened in there? What was it like? Are you hurt? Who got you out? Do you see that woman right over there? That's Emily Cooper. And she got us out. If, if it weren't for her, we'd all be dead. And who are you? I'm her daughter. Vacation. Could we please go to Hawaii? 